All right, in this video, we are going to continue the learning that we've been doing, and we are going to be looking at the tutorial to write a simple service and client. And I looked at, uh, ahead, and we're going to examine the simple service and client. Hopefully, that's where we implement or get to run it. So let's go back to where we were. Same window as in with my Hello World stuff. Hello World Receiver. So I'll kill both of those. Let's see. Ross CD. Beginner Tutorials, which is here. Let me ambigify that. That might help, actually. That's a technical term if you're not aware. Ambigify means to apply some ambigification to something. So I uh, applied the ambigification to the text on this screen. I'll also apply the ambigification to that text. Um, if you're watching these tutorials to learn proper English, I suggest you look elsewhere. So, see these scripts. Uh, we have our talker, we have our listener. Create, add to, ints, server pi within the beginner tutorials package. Create, yeah, and paste the following inside of it. Cool, we can do that. Begin, add to, ints, server pi. Add to, ints, server pi. All right, what did I do? Let's see. So handle, handle. So name. Okay, if we're main, we add to int server. So we add to int server. Returning. So the I assume this is request request dot a dot b because those were our input parameters. Cool equals request a plus request dot b. Uh, return add to, oops, sorry, that was the handle. Oh, I missed something. Add to in server. Um, this is the, the daemon thread. Any node, add to int server, also by service, add to ints. So we are making a new service to follow the add to ints name. So this is going to be an import up above. And the handler, or the callback is ha handle add to ints. So then we have a response, ross by spin. Remember, where's the Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this uh, add to ints response and add to ints comes from the beginner tutorial serve, etc. So they like it when we add the add to ints. We uh, remember change modifiers, add the executable flag, and now we have an add to ints server. The code explained. We did this. So Ross by service, we're defining our service named add to ints. It's uh, using the add to ints service we created earlier and our callback. Now we get to write the client. Let me grab this before we look through it. Cool, there. Um, in here we'll do add to ints client.py, I assume. Add to ints client.py. Insert that. And now I'm going to write this all out. Um, okay, we're, it's taken some parameters, I guess two numbers, so one and two. Uh, in Python, zero is always the name of the Python file. Requested x, or yeah, x plus y, which is argv1, argv2. Then we get the response. We add to, add to, let's call add to ints client. Um, Ross by wait for service, I assume is going to block until that add to ints service becomes available. So I imagine I could run this client first, and we're going to do that because I like to experiment with things. Try add to ints, Ross by service proxy, add to ints, add to ints is the service. So this is basically giving us the service reference. So uh, a standard design pattern, a proxy pattern means this thing that we're getting sits between this code that I'm executing now and the actual service provider. It's a proxy. Uh, response one equals add to ints. So add to ints is that service proxy, which proxies to the add to ints service. We pass in two variables as the input, x and y from our args. And we get a sum if it all goes well. If not, we fail. Um, so we put some int integer wrapping here. Um, 
if those aren't ints, then that will fail. We'll print our usage. Usage says return da, 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 da. <laughs> string x, y. What it doesn't say here is that these need to be numbers, but whatever. And all right, cool. So let's see what we do next. So we're going to have to chmod it too. Yep, we are chmod plus x add to ints client. Boom, right there. The code explained. I talked through it pretty good. And now we're going to. I'm already in the catkin workspace, and so now we're going to catkin make. And let's see what happens. So we made the add to in service. Cool. And it doesn't build our scripts. Our, cri our scripts run outside of that. So now we'll run them, I think. Running the service. See, examining. I don't know why they call it examining the simple service and client, but that's okay. So here what we'll do Ross run beginner tutorial. Add two ends, but said, remember, I, I want to mess around and see uh, if I can do the clients first. So here I'm going to say, Ross run beginner tutorials add two ints. Remember, I need to do Ross run so it has context of the Ross. Couldn't find, oops, where was I supposed to be? Uh, oopsie, I was totally in the wrong place. Find scripts. Source beginner scripts, so move add two ints to source scripts. Right? No, source, whoops, beginner tutorial scripts. My mistake. And now we're requesting 1.3. So see, it's blocking. It's not doing anything. It's saying, what? I'm just hanging out. And so now we're going to run the server. But I want to keep an eye on this one. Can I do that? Let's see. Can you see it? That's the important part. See, you're important to me. Mr. Listener, Miss Listener. Um, okay, this is the server on the left. It's not running yet. Client on the right's waiting. No module name beginner tutorials that serve. Why not? Yep, it was right there. I probably missed something in my CMake, didn't I? To say serve. to serve. See, I'm going to have to go back, I'm sure, and find something I missed. What did I miss? Add service file in the serve folder. Generate services in the serve folder. Add to it. Let's see. Ross serve. Add to it. Add serve. It's the right file. Oh. Uh oh. Let's see what I did wrong here. Add to in server dot begin tutorials dot serve. Okay. Hmm. Did it not? Let's see. Let's go back and see what I missed. Making those, we were before that. Running the publisher, building nodes. These are my subscriber, publisher, subscriber. Uh, da, 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 da. Creating a serve. This is one I somehow messed up. Using serve, okay. Make, wait, well, let's see. I'm sure I did all this right. So now I'm going back in time to see what I missed. This should error. Okay, it errored. Uh -huh, I did that. Just to verify. This is where it's going to end up from here. So I'm just going to print it. Good. It's right there. I had those. Unless you've already unless you have done so already for messages in the previous step. Okay, I already have. Display beginning. Add to instant serve. I did that. So we'll open our CMake again. Maybe spacing matters. Add to instant serve. Now you're already a generate source. See, it finds the service there. Let's see if it finds it over here. It should. Yep, it did there. It's going to run the client again here. I'll space it top. And I'm jumping around, but I'm just trying to figure out what the heck's going on here. 
comments step unless you've already found this let's just make sure generate messages dependencies standard dependencies raw cd beginner whoops raw cd beginner tutorials cd dot 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 captain make See what happens before I do anything else. Did I forget to do that part? No. Oh, let's see. Da, 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 da. So if there's a message here, there should be a serve here. Add to ints pipe. Add to ints pi. So that's there. So many serve files. The full specification for the method will only available there. Name not building C++. Hmm. Why didn't that work? No module name beginner tutorials dot SRV. See if there's some weird class name or something. Class add two ints. Add two ints response and with the response. Uh, da, 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 da. Beginner tutorial. From beginner tutorial. Thus. Hmm. Something's not working. So that kind of makes me sad. What did I do wrong? If you uh, know what I did wrong, please comment below and tell me so I can fix it because right now it's not working. So I think I'm going to do a, a, a wrap then on this and, and hopefully I'll come back and uh, figure out what the heck I did wrong. That way you faithful listener uh, aren't disappointed because right now I'm kind of sad. I'm kind of disappointed in this one. But oh well. Uh, don't forget to find me at fowie.com. Uh, you can email me at chris at fowie.com. That's F-A-U-I-E dot com. Find me at Twitter at Chris Fowerbach. Uh, I'm on Medium. I publish there too. It's kind of fun. Anyway, uh, until next time. <laughs>